good morning. I'm talking with reflexologist Lauren Cohen today. Hi, Lauren. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Very well, thank you. Lauren, we've spoken before in previous interviews about how you work with pregnant women to reduce pain um, during uh, during pregnancy, during labor. Um, you also combine belly dancing um, into this. Can you can you explain this to me? Yes. First of all, let me explain uh, my name. The name of my business is Magal Magal, which means in free translation, uh, touch and circle. Maga is the touch part is because I use reflexology and circle is because I use the belly dancing moves, which are mostly circular, not all of them. I also use aromatherapy. Um, doing reflexology treatment is fine. It's excellent. You get excellent results, but it's not enough. Let's say somebody is trying to lose weight, then he or she would probably get somebody to tell them what is right to eat and what isn't good to eat, uh, but they would also have to do some form of exercise. And the most important thing is that they would have to want to lose the weight, because otherwise, uh, once the dieting program is over, then... Uh, they could revert back to whatever they weighed before. So the belly dance moves and the aromatherapy are extra dimensions that help us in the treatment. It's kind of like doing the work from the inside. So what happens during a normal session is that I, first of all, I question the person coming for treatment. And then we do some belly dance moves, uh, depending on what type of problem there is or issue, then there might be a different variety of belly dance movements. And uh, then we start the treatment. I will use aromatherapy depending on what the problem is. Uh, it could be a back problem, then I would do a little bit of massage in the back using special oils that would help. Uh, if it's a labor, if the woman is a, close to labor and we want to stimulate labor, then I normally do massage on the belly um, after the reflexology treatment. And what if I don't like to dance, and in particular belly dancing? Um, the issue is not to become a belly dancer. You will not exit my uh, clinic knowing how enough to belly dance in front of an audience, uh, nor is that uh, what belly dance was intended for originally. Nobody knows exactly what belly dance was meant to do in the beginning when it was invented, but probably it was used to help stimulate uh, labor. Uh, and to this day, a lot of uh, Bedouin tribes teach the young uh, women before uh, getting married to a little bit of belly dance moves, just enough to help them during the labor process. This is not uh, to uh, seduce men. And uh, in the original societies where this was uh, uh, prevalent, women did not dance in front of men. They danced among themselves uh, in separate women parties. So the belly dancing and the aromatherapy is not necessarily um, restricted just to women that you're helping with labor. Um, a person can come in for a treatment. You can pick up the areas that you need to work on, and then you would advise them about the aromatherapy and the belly dancing um, and how you're going to incorporate it into uh, the, the future sessions. Is that correct? Yes. And uh, by the way, I only treat women, and belly dancing is meant for the body of the woman. Uh, there are a lot of male dancers. You can look it up at, at YouTube. Um, but I think it's not as beautiful as a uh, woman dancing. But that's on the side. We're not dealing with uh, performances. This is just for the, for the woman coming for treatment. It's for herself. It's for her own body. It's kind of like doing yoga. 
Thank you, Lauren. Thank you so much for talking to me today. Thank you.